Welcome fans and collectors! This is Marvel and DC 379 with another review and today we'll be looking at NECA Alien vs Predator Chopper Predator. If you've seen my haul from Wizard World, I got this guy from Wizard World for a decent price and well, like I said in that video, I'm a huge fan of aliens and predators, especially Alien vs. Predator. One of my favorite movie franchises next to Star Wars and I am so excited to get this guy since I love Predator and this is my first NECA toy review. And my first NECA figure. So with all the detail, accessories, and paint, sculpt, I'm going to take my time with this guy, so let's begin. Chopper Predators, one of the three Predators in the film, along with Celtic and Scar. So, let's take a look at this guy. I really like the look of Chopper Predator. Predator. I really like his armor, the flesh exposed especially his helmet I really love the colors like a really dark gray silver yellow brown and black for his flesh so much to go into I really like his gauntlets they look really unique and cool A really nice bit of detail, the, the beads on his dreads, there's a good variety of colors like silver, bronze, and gold, which is absolutely fantastic. I really love that. Head sculpt, I do like the mask on Chopper Predator. It's not my most favorite Predator mask of all time, no, but I really like it. I like the sculpted segmented lines and the mouth plate and it kind of gives it that Gil look where he got the nickname Gil and my favorite part is the visor with the milky pearly blue so that's the part that stands out to me the most and there's bits of flesh exposed underneath his mask so absolutely fantastic detail I love how the net, the body net is sculpted. Absolutely fantastic. Just amazing. And the shoes, these bits where his toes are at, I love the blades on top. Almost look like talons. So, articulation, ball jointed head, hinged shoulder plates, hinged shoulders, bicep swivel, double hinge elbow, swivel wrist, two hinges at the torso, at the upper torso, the lower torso, ball jointed legs, double hinge knees, and hinged ankles. So really, really articulate figure and I absolutely love that. For accessories, he comes with a really good amount of accessories, so let's try to go through them one by one. First off is the plasma shoulder caster, and this one's articulate too, like there's a ball joint at the, at the top, there's two or three segments that can go up and down. It does come separate, so... and you have to assemble it like there's two notches two tabs right here it's a little hard to see and there's two tabs on his back though to be honest putting it on his back can be a pain mostly because of his head sculpt with the dreads fortunately they are bendable so they can't just get smushed but that does bother me and other collectors who collect these predator figures but I have to say I really like the 
plasma caster. It's very cool and nicely sculpted and detailed. It looks very nice. It looks absolutely fantastic. Next up is the knife or short sword or whatever it is. There's a sheath, so I love weapon storage. That is just absolutely fantastic. You can pull it out if you're careful. There we go. This looks absolutely amazing. The brownish, goldish brown detail on the handle. And I really like the jagged design of the knife. And like I said, can be stored into his sheath. The only complaint I have about this figure is that he comes with a pair of closed-fisted hands. And he has all these accessories, so there's no way he can hold it. I mean, you can swap out the hands if you have another, another Predator figure, but this is my very first one, so adding insult to injury. You can, I don't know, have other Predator figures borrow these accessories if you want, but... Enough rambling and let's get into the other accessories. He comes with a pair of human skulls on poles, which is absolutely fantastic. And I love the detail on the braid. And there's a little bone, if you can see right there. Here's another one with another braid. You can store these. There's a clip on his back. It's a little hard to see, but you can clip it right here. See? So you can have him carry his trophies if you want. Oh, and another thing, the clip is removable. Let me show. Right. A little hard to see. It's there. He comes with a smart disc shuriken with these one, two, three, four, five, six points. And I love the brown colored detail in the middle. There, there, and there. And I love the silver. Here's a combi stick, which is retracted. Excellent for display. I love the goldish brown again would be great for him to hold if he actually had holding hands last but not least several wrist blades they come in three pairs and six in total and they come in different sizes there's small blades mid-sized blades and long blades and you can have him wielding those blades there's two different slots right here I'm gonna use the long blades for all of them Here he is with two blades, but you can have one if you want, and that's how I'm going to display him. There is another slot right here where his gauntlet is, so if you want it displayed this way, you can if you want. Just, there we go. And there's another slot right here in his left gauntlet so you can tab it in just like before looks absolutely fantastic so this is my preferred display for chopper if I can there we go 
with two blades on each arm. And if you know me, I love me blades, I love me some swords. So my overall thoughts, I really love this figure. This is my very first NECA Predator figure and I think this is a great figure to start off with. And I absolutely look forward to buying more in the future and I know I will. The only bad thing I have to say is there's no alternate hands. But what can you do? And I love the amount of detail, paint, accessories, sculpt. And one last thing before I end this review, he does come with a self-destruct device that all predators come with. There's no numbers or symbols, but that's okay. I hope to get the rest of the team, Celtic and Scar, and I hope to get every Predator figure from the movies or even the expanded universe. So thank you for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next video. You are one ugly motherfucker.